So it looks like my recent video went a little bit viral on Twitter. Not so long ago I reviewed this app called Piano Vision on Quest 2, which is basically Guitar Hero for piano, and I managed to record this in mixed reality, or rather augmented reality, to showcase this game even better. And I got lots of questions on how to record the video like that. I used a tool called Reality Mixer, developed by Fabio Della Antonio, that allows you to record mixed reality videos using only your iPhone, and it works for creating this sexy augmented reality effect. I already made a tutorial about it before, but I thought I'd tell you specifically how to make this app working on Piano Vision to record a cool video like this one. Hit that like button to show your appreciation for this video and subscribe to Discover for more fun and informative VR content. If you're ready, let's go! First things first, let's get all the tools you need. Go to the App Store on your iPhone and download an app called Reality Mixer. Check the description for more specific requirements of your iPhone or iPad. You will also need to install Mixed Reality Capture app on your Quest or Quest 2. I will leave a link to this app in the video description as well. Now set your iPhone or iPad on a tripod and run Reality Mixer. Then put on your Quest and run Mixed Reality Capture. You will see your local IP address listed right here. You will need it for the next step. Make sure that both your Quest and your iPhone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Click on Start Calibration and then make sure that the IP address here in the app is the same one that you saw in your headset and then tap on Connect. Before actually starting the calibration, make sure that you're happy with the camera angle because you will not be able to change it later. Bring your controller as close to the camera as possible and hit the trigger button. Then take a few steps back and click on that trigger button again. At this time, the app will snap a picture of you and you'll be able to come back, hit OK, and then move the blue controller on top of your controller so make sure that they're aligned. Though for Piano Vision, they don't have to be ideally aligned because Piano Vision uses hand tracking. We don't need to worry about the accuracy of controller tracking for Piano Vision, but you will be able to fine-tune the tracking in the app for other VR games. Finally, tap on Save to Headset and remember, don't move your camera. And now tap on Start Mixed Reality. Tap on Show Options. This is where you can play around with mixed reality settings. The augmented reality you saw in the video with Piano Vision, you will need the following settings. Under Mode, select Virtual Green Screen. Under Background Layer Options, select Filtered and Color to Alpha, Black. Foreground visibility should be visible and use magenta for transparency should be disabled. That's it, but do not hit connect yet. It's time to run the app. Put on the headset and start Piano Vision or any other app that you want to record with mixed reality. With Piano Vision, first set it up on your piano. I made a video where I show exactly how to set it up and use Piano Vision, so make sure to watch it if you want to know more how to use Piano Vision. Once everything is set up and Piano Vision is aligned with your actual keyboard, then you're ready to start mixed reality capture. Go back to your phone and now it's time to hit connect. You can see that the gaming elements are already being rendered on top of your reality, but they are not aligned correctly and I found that the best way to align them is to move your actual camera to help align the virtual elements with your real piano. Once you're happy with your alignment, you can start recording on your iPhone and then jump back into the game and play away. And that's how easy it is to make a mixed reality recording with the augmented reality effect with an app called Reality Mixer. Feel free to play around and record other cool VR experiences such as space slurpees, puzzling places, cubism and many others. I made a video about my favorite VR games that use pass-through, so feel free to browse through those games and see which one will work best for these types of videos. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to Disco VR for more. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time!